Hey everyone, it's Gary Lux for RSPE Audio Solutions, here today to talk about some even cooler ways to use your S6. I wanted to give a little overview on how I'm operating the console. There are so many ways to do this, but I've sort of evolved to this way. I've predetermined that Expand Zone 1 will be EQ. This is all done inside of the preferences and the settings in here. And you can go through our other videos to see how we've done that. But I've determined that Expand Zone 1 is going to be EQ. Second default will be the compression on that same channel will now come to the master module knobs. And I'm able to use my aux ends, my echoes, right in front of each of the channels. For example, here on my vocal or on any channel, I've determined that here expand zone one is going to be EQ. The master module knobs are the dynamics and in front are the aux ends for my echoes. And the reason why I've kept that this way and not used expand zone right in front of me is because my auxes, I want to be able to flip and automate maybe some of the aux ends or even the pan. By utilizing my two spill zones, I usually have my VCAs in spill zone two, so they're right in front of me, and then I'm able to have the members of the VCA spill in front of me. Once again, back to the master groups, background vocals, now spill in front of me. While on the left spill zone, I'm able to determine that I'd like to see just my auxes of the session. So in spill zone one, I'm seeing the auxes. In spill zone two, I'm seeing VCAs. There's many different ways to customize your surface. This is the way that seems to be most efficient for me at this time. With more features than ever, there's never been a better time to buy your new S6.